Hi everyone, welcome to Paul Lee's Top 5 Picks. My name is Paul and I work at the Crystal Lake Public Library. Uh, today's theme is going to be cinematic pleasures, which to me are films that are not only good, but they look amazing because of cinematography. Uh, we're going to focus today on the, the look of the film. Um, these five films I picked are just, the cinematography is just extraordinary by uh, five very talented cinematographers. Uh, the first film is going to be The Black Stallion, a uh, film from 1979 starring Mickey Rooney, uh, Terry Garr, and Kelly Reno. And what it is, actually, it's a love story between a, a young boy and a, a black Arabian stallion. Um, the father and son are traveling on a ship. There is a black stallion in the cargo hold, which the uh, young boy falls in love with and becomes obsessed with. The ship crashes, and the only survivors are the uh, young boy and the uh, black stallion, and they end up on a deserted island. And the uh, young boy, uh, Kelly Reno, uh, and the, the horse develop a really symbiotic relationship. And um, they finally get rescued, and they go back to uh, America, and they um, get involved with a old trainer who, uh, who decides to take them on and start tra training again. Uh, for them to win horse races. Um, the performance by Mika Rooney was up for an Oscar. Really an amazing film. Uh, again, the cinematography for all of these is just extraordinary. Um, on this particular film, it's Caleb Dashnell, who has done uh, several uh, great movies. Uh, A Passion of the Christ, um, The Patriot, Fly Away Home, The Natural, and uh, The Right Stuff. So really, this is not only just a good film, it's also a good family film, good to watch with your children. Uh, it's really a lot of fun. The second film I'm going to discuss is called The Bear. It came out in 1988. It's by Jean-Jacques Canud, and the cinematographer was uh, Philip Russo, who also did A River Runs Through It, which is also a great movie with just amazing cinematography. I'm going to keep saying all these movies have great cinematography because they just look absolutely just gorgeous. Um, the bear is about a um, a young uh, cub whose mother gets killed and gets adopted by a uh, a male bear. Um, there aren't any really big stars in the film other than the uh, the cub and the bear, which is actually Bart the Bear, um, who I'm a big fan of. He's a great actor. Uh, he has done several movies. He's done um, The Edge with Anthony Hopkins and Alec Baldwin. The Great Outdoors with Dan Aykroyd and John Candy. And this film just really chronicles uh, the um, adventures of them trying to avoid the hunters. And this movie has almost no dialogue at all. Just uh, really just sounds of the forest and um, and just between uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Kodiak bear Bart and, of course, the, the young cub. This is also a really good family film and also for adults. The third film today I'm going to discuss is on Golden Pond, a film from 1982. This is one of my favorite films, not only because it's of the movie itself, the plot, it's also a beautiful movie and with wonderful performances by Henry Fonda, Catherine Hepburn, and Jane Fonda, who are all nominated for an Oscar. And basically it's about a curmudgeon, um, Henry Fonda, and the relationship between him and his estranged daughter, uh, Chelsea, played by Jane Fonda. Uh, they go to visit their summer home in their cabin on Golden Pond. And when they come to visit, uh, Chelsea brings her new boyfriend, Dadney Coleman. Um, they plan to go to Europe and leave Billy behind for Norman and, and Ethel to watch. And they agree. And a nice uh, friendship develops and blossoms between Henry Fonda and uh, the young Billy, um, played by Doug McKeon. Um, they form a really good. They form a really good bond. The next film I'm going to discuss is *The English Patient*, which came out in 1996. This was a big film. Uh, it was up for nine Oscars. It won for Best Picture, Best Supporting Actress, Best Cinematography. Uh, the cinematographer is John Seal, who also did uh, *Witness*, uh, *Cold Mountain*, uh, *Mad Max: Fury Road*, and *Rain Man*. Um, this is a sprawling epic, sort of in the same uh, realm of uh, David Lean-ish type film, like The Bridge of the River Kwai or Lawrence of Arabia. 
The movie is about a, um, a young nurse at the close of World War II who is caring for a uh, badly burned crash victim played by Ray Fiennes. The film is shown in flashback to Ray Fiennes' eyes and revealing a faithful love affair. That's a very short synopsis of this film because it's so much bigger than that. Um, it really is a, uh, a film you need to sit down with about three buckets of popcorn and just enjoy it. Um, it has a wonderful uh, different areas of subplots with espionage, uh, the course of love affair. There's also a subplot with uh, Julie Panache and a, another soldier. The last film I'm going to discuss is Jaws. It's a movie you're all familiar with. It was a big summer hit in 1975. It actually coined the term blockbuster uh, when it came out. Um, very young Steven Spielberg. I believe he was 28 years old when he filmed this. The cinematographer is Bill Butler, who did uh, One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest, uh, Grease, and Biloxi Blues. And we all know the story. It's about a great white shark who is um, terrorizing a small village uh, in northeastern, um, basically Cape Cod. And the three people who are assigned to hunt for it. And that's it. I think that's all five. I hope you enjoy them, and I will see you next week. Thanks.